So it's called, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it well. It's Oji Tune Onji Piangier, uh, also known as uh, Build From Within. Uh, it's, uh, we're targeting uh, students in high school. Uh, we start recruiting them in grade 10, first of all, um, to who then they'll enter the program in grade 11. So what we do is uh, we identify students that are academically uh, bound for university, uh, that have an interest in wanting to be teachers, and uh, so they apply for the program, they go through an interview process, and uh, once selected, uh, we you know, map out their uh, coursework. And now the first cohort's just started, and they're at the university, uh, or actually Winnipeg Adult Ed Education Center. So they're housed there as a group. Uh, in the morning, they're taking uh, EA courses, so they're gonna become an educational assistant. Uh, they'll graduate high school with their educational assistant uh, certificate, as well as their high school diploma. Uh, so right now, they're, most of them are having to take math courses, like those, they're, those, because uh, they need like the uh, applied math when they're in the education program at UW for the integrated degree. And so once they're done there, they'll be it's final semester. They go back to their home schools, so they actually will graduate in their home schools. Uh, and then uh, in the following September, we enroll them at the University of Winnipeg as a cohort part time, or actually it'd be full time. Uh, we haven't mapped out all the co how the course is going to work, but we know they're going to do a major in history and a minor in English will be there. And they'll be geared towards the K-6 to stream uh, for their all well, their teaching practicum and stuff like that. And they'll work part-time as an educational assistant for the school division. And we're going to be pairing them with uh, master teachers so that they learn how to, you know, be an effective teacher in the classroom, right? And the, the goal, the plan is to move them around a little bit. Probably, uh, we, we haven't decided exactly um, how it's going to look, but it probably, you know, maybe either a semester or a year within a school, and then maybe switch schools, you know, because we have, we'll have 30, up to 30 per year in the program. And so there's two cohorts that are in the pilot project. So we have the first cohort started now. Um, yeah, then they'll get that experience. They're actually going to finish their five year degree, though, in four years. So it's a bit of an accelerated program. Now, the EA, pro, EA program actually gives them 12 credit hours at the university level. So they'll have a little bit of a head start when they do go in, but they'll also go for intercession. So they'll be in university from September to uh, the end of June. Everything is paid for. So they have all their tuition. Uh, they'll get a bus pass. Uh, they will be earning a little bit of an income as an EA, so it'll be enough to probably not live independently, but you know certainly enough to um, either somewhat shared accommodation or living with family kind of thing, right? Um, and then um, after they're done the EA or the uh, their teaching degree, we will be uh, they can apply for. Uh, the job that they're most interested in. So we don't have spots picked out, of course, yet for where they'll be, but they'll, they'll be guaranteed a term position with the Winnipeg School Division. And our hope is that they'll give us minimally five years, but we're hoping that they will be uh, lifelong uh, teachers with the school division, maybe one day be a superintendent or something like that, right? Uh, so uh, it's, it's exciting. They, the first cohort started this last week. And so I, I got to spend a week with them as a group um, at Winnipeg Adult Ed Center. And so they're, they're looking forward to it. And, um, and then they've been showing up every day, minus 30. So it was really great to see them. Uh, in the age groups, yes. Yeah, so we, the maximum, like we, it's targeted for the grade, like that they would enter in grade 11. Uh, we did open it up to grade 12s last year. So we have some that have graduated. But max age is like 19, 20, something like that. Uh, so 16, I guess, would be the 16 to 20, that group there. Um, and of course, yes, yeah, so we're looking for them to become teachers. And we want to reflect our society, right? So uh, we know that the Indigenous population, I believe, is between 10 and 15% in Manitoba. And uh, we want our school division to reflect that. And it is not there at this point, right? So uh, I knew where I grew up. Um, I went to school on a reserve. And when I started, there were the there was a couple of indigenous teachers, but I know now when I go home, it's probably at least fifty percent are indigenous teachers, and many of them from the community working there. So we kind of want to strive to get sort of that kind of reflection in our own schools here.
Yes. Yeah, so the, we're doing one. This like one is actually started this year, and currently I'm actively recruiting for next year. And they will start. So what happens is they start in February with the EA program. So they'll start now to the end of, till June. It ends in like the first week of June, the EA program, and then they finish up their high school credits. And we'll do some. Like summertime is a good time to kind of do some land-based education, that kind of thing. So we'll do some of those more activities, um, seminars in the spring. And then they'll come back in September. They'll be still at WEC, the same cohort now. And they'll finish by December. They'll finish their EA certificate. And then we'll still do some more seminar stuff. We have to do like CPR, uh, nonviolent crisis, and those kind of things that we'll finish up with them in January because that's they'll need those things to get their, their final... Um, EA diploma um, and then once they're done they go back to the schools then we have the second cohort will start in February as well at WEC and they'll do this they'll repeat the same thing and then that in that September the first cohort will start university while the first second cohort is still at at Winnipeg Adult Ed uh, in their EA program and so uh, and then again the second cohort will repeat the same thing and so you'll have two cohorts going to University of Winnipeg at the same time the pilot is what's on the books uh, the goal is of course to keep it going i don't know if i don't know if it's um uh, right now it's not it's not scheduled to start a third one right after the second two are, are done so it may be a little bit further down the line i'm not too sure um and i'm my role right now i'm a th i'm in three years so we'll have to see where after the, my three years where i end up because uh, I'd like to be around to follow them, but it may not be the same capacities I'm doing quite now. It might be something a little bit different. Well, I know we do want to have some more applicants, so if there's anyone watching that has students in Winnipeg School Division, make sure they uh, tell, their, tell their children uh, to look at our program um, and uh, just to uh, go out and take advantage of education opportunities because it does open a lot of doors. We want our students to see uh, themselves reflected in their teachers somewhat, right? So we want to we want to see that and that we want also our teachers not only to be indigenous but to actually bring a perspective like so because a lot of indigenous people are, are don't necessarily have connections to their culture all the time so um, we want to incorporate that into their uh, education path that we're having for them that they will learn different ways of incorporating um, there's perspective, indigenous perspectives into the curriculum, into the classroom, and making it a normal part of the day rather than, okay, today we're going to, you know, talk about this indigenous group, right? But, you know, I know like when I worked at my previous job, uh, the math teacher was trying to do things that just made it um, uh, incorporating math ideas from indigenous perspectives into the math class where sometimes I think we kind of relegate it to a, a history course or maybe even an English course but because we teach a certain book or something like that right so I want to try and make it a bit more holistic um, so that you know your phys eds your math social studies science all these things that there can be an element of an indigenous perspective in it well, uh, this program I'm in right now is going to be for the next six or seven, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, uh, seeing the students progress through this and graduating. And of course, I'd like to see it happen again, that it becomes not just a pilot project, but something that we, we, we continue doing. And next time we're considering, you know, ideas about, because um, right now it's limited to the English history majors, right? So it kind of gives you that primary school, but maybe next time focus on more high school stream and have like that science or uh, other other app, science math option, you know, because uh, I think I had a few applicants for like, I really want to do the science math at high school versus the lower kids. And so they were kind of on the fence if they want to do this program, you know, so I'd like to maybe see it opened up more so that um, it's not just relegated to the primary grades. Now in Manitoba, once you're a teacher, you can move into anywhere in the K to 12, right? So you're not necessarily restricted to that. But um, and yeah, I like to see that the that the school divisions, not only Winnipeg School Division, but all of Winnipeg, that you see more Aboriginals engaged in the school system, so that uh, we get better outcomes for our people that um, start graduating at higher numbers and start entering different professions.